What's up guys, कैसे हो आप लोग वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन द ट्वेंटी थ्री राइट चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर हेयर टू पिक अप दिस द के टी एम ए डी बी थ्री नाइनटी एडवेंचर एंड लॉड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन वॉज देयर ओवर द पास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स के शुड आई गो फॉर अ थ्री टेन जी एस और अ ए डी बी थ्री नाइनटी एंड आई कवर दैट टॉपिक इन डिटेल इन वन ऑफ द सब्सिक्वेंट वीडियोज लिटरली ब्रेन फेड हो रहा था समझ नहीं आ रहा था विच मोटरसाइकिल शुड वी गो फॉर But now finally we have decided on the ADV 390. Uh, considering that I will be staying mostly in the hilly areas for the coming time, and wanted something which had some sort of a power, because coming from the Tiger, which has almost 97 bhp, I didn't want the drop in power to be almost one third, जो GS में almost 30, 33 bhp थी. यहाँ पे विद द ADV 390 we are still getting around 44 bhp of power. so i am here at the sector 8 showroom and will be picking up the race blue ktm adv 390 color 2022 model so uh, we'll take about 15 20 minutes and we'll get on the bike and see how the new machine rides so let me give you the first look of the new race blue stream so this is the new race blue color of the adv 390 uh looks beefy uh, the scheme looks little refreshing as well from the black and white colors jo pehle aate the That is the first ignition on the ADV 390. Uh, didn't want to create a lot of fuss about the delivery, so just decided to get hold of the machine and get riding. And the new display is a refreshing change for someone who has been used to the simple black and white display of the Tiger 800. uh coming from that obviously the vibrations are a big concern for me but let's see how things go i think from what i've heard from people is when you ride a 390 cc ktm engine the engine doesn't get used to your way of riding you have to get used to the way the engine performs so it's rev friendly that is what i know and we'll try to keep it revving a little bit they have told me not to go above 90 so let's see how things go one thing's for sure this bike is definitely light what a sweet change from the heavy tiger 800 that i was used to riding 177 kg is a joke compared to the 250 kg is fully loaded triumph tiger 800 obviously i'm going to compare it to the last motorcycle that i was riding people might say why are you comparing it to a full size or a mid size adventure touring motorcycle but that is my yardstick since i rode it for almost 3 years the plan right now is to go to bikeaholic showroom and get some basic stuff done on the motorcycle uh i was essentially looking to get the crash bars but if not the crash bars i will at least get the bark busters installed so that if in case this thing falls or tips overs then there is some sort of protection a lot of mods a lot of things to do on this motorcycle that are already there on my mind let's see when we get time to get all the stuff done and the 850 mm seat height is uh, not troubling me as of now i intentionally came uh, in my full riding gears and riding boot and i'll show you 850 mm seat height and my feet are completely flat footing so should not be an issue for me at least the narrow seat profile is for sure a boon to get the complete feel of the motorcycle and the way it accelerates is something that will keep you entertained and i hope this keeps me entertained for some time at least yes the suspension is not that plush but everything just fades away in terms of the weight of the motorcycle i mean that is such a big big positive that i see right now and that was the sole purpose i wanted a light uh adventure touring motorcycle so 
at these price points under 4 lakhs uh, I think it's more from what I've understood it's more about learning to deal with some of the limitations of the motorcycle that you own rather than just thinking about what is not there there are a lot of things that are there in this motorcycle that neither of the middleweight or the heavy adventure touring motorcycles can even boast of the handling is impeccable and so easy to maneuver so friendly uh, that alone is something that none of the big bikes can do right other things are really something that you can uh, you know work around and this bike is also having a quick shifter Shift, downshift. I don't know that terminology. I'm not that. I'm not that sort of a guy who will use those fast upshifts and downshifts. But let's see how things go. Oh yes, upshifting without the clutch. I did that for the first time. Seems pretty pretty easy. And somehow I am actually liking the exhaust note. That's quite a good surprise for me I was really 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 thinking about getting the 310 GS almost went ahead and made that purchase but that exhaust note and the lack of power after 90 kmph really uh, made me go for the ADV 390 considering that this will at least keep me entertained for the time that I want to ride hard but yeah here we are the braking taking its effect yeah decent braking yeah when you rev this thing this goes oh that's 90 easy easy 90 oh oi, 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 the bouncy suspension coming into its four So I am just loving the grunt of the ADV 390 right now and it's going to be tough to not to ride this motorcycle beyond 90 kmph. That's going to be a problem because this wants to just go, it goes ballistic once you rig the throttle. We are going to the Bikeaholic showroom and let's see if we can get some a couple of useful accessories before I head out to the hills to my home in the hills I should say hopefully this weekend I think this is the right place to go Meri makhi Kinto lagri hai? Yeah? Kinto lagri hai? Yeah, Thanks <laughs> so right now we are getting three important things set up in the motorcycle direct from the showroom first one is the mad dogs uh, auxiliary lights second is the high rider bash plate which is already installed which is a full metallic bash plate and the third one will be a bark buster handguard setup so three things i was also looking for a crash guard but that is not available right now so hopefully we'll be getting that in the next visit. But I think the bark busters should serve the purpose in terms of protecting the bike if it falls because the handle is the first thing that takes the impact. These are the Mad Dog Alpha auxiliary headlights, auxiliary lights I should say, 9600 lumens. Trying these for the first time, have used cold runway some time back. Let's see how these perform. And this is the stock uh, bash plate that KTM gives on the ADV 390 proper plastic so we are off after getting the essential stuff uh, that was required on the first day itself the bike is kitted now the only thing that is left is full crash guard which protects the fairing Apart from that, most of the stuff is done. Time for the first fueling on the ADV 390. Getting the complete tank full now. 
हाँ ठीक है काफी है थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव लीटर एक एक लीटर था मतलब लेट्स क्रूज एंड सी वॉट दिस मशीन हैज गॉट सिक्स गेयर नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव के एम पी The buzz of the single cylinder is there in the pegs, but then that what keeps you awaken. That's what they say when they ride the single cylinders, and that is what is something that I'll get used to hopefully. But no issues as such, nothing major. Some, there is something about this bike that makes you want to ride fast. And AD85 feels like almost you are at 50% of the throttle. And this this decision of getting the ADV 390 was not easy, guys, at all. This was very very tough. I spent almost two weeks trying to figure out what I need, and somehow somehow at the right time, I decided to go with this one. GS 310 was being strongly contemplated. I was thinking GS 310 most of the times, even till last night. and that's why i will be making a complete separate video uh for you guys in terms of what all i was thinking about before buying the adv 390 that deserves a mention really it really put me in a quandary ki karna kya hai karna kya hai under 4 mein kaun si hai must buy jo bore nahi karegi and ऑलमोस्ट सब चीजों के मजे देगी सो वील बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन दैट डेफिनेटली आई एम जस्ट अबाउट टू रीच होम इन लाइक फाइव मिनट्स फ्रॉम नाउ एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट डार्क एंड लेट मी शो यू वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ इफेक्ट द मैड डॉग्स एल्फा ऑक्सिलरी लाइट इज केपेबल ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग सो दिस इज द स्टॉक हेड लैम्प ऑफ द ए डी बी थ्री नाइनटी दैट्स द हाई बीम इफ यू कैन सी द डिपर दैट माइनर डिफरेंस minuscule difference if i may call it and i think everybody was right when they recommended me the auxiliary lights on the first day and now here we go with the mad dogs damn this is fully illuminated this seems like day what throw what throw and when you switch it off you see this totally dark and this this is just crazy crazy amount of lumens really confidence inspiring light and when you switch it off you realize what the hell this light is look at this again so i'm almost home guys uh that was it for the delivery day of the adv 390 and i hope to stay connected with you with some regular videos hopefully I hope you guys enjoyed this first ride impression of the ADV 390 and I hope we get to do a lot of miles on this machine this feature loaded machine that I have with me now So that is it for this one guys I will see you in the next one till then safe riding This is good. Bye bye.